G'day guys, we have something really exciting to share with you today. We are doing a Lovo on the beach here and got a few friends here to help me out. We've got Steven, Takai, and you guys know Epeli. So these guys are professionals in Lovo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna film it all while we do it, take you through the process, show you exactly how it's done. And man, I cannot wait to eat this. Earlier on this morning, Takai and I went out uh, real quick and just shot a quick uh, Spanish Mac. So we've got that to chuck in. We've got some chickens to chuck in, some dalo, cassava. Uh, I think we're even going to put in maybe like a damper, potatoes and things like that. Um, yeah, so I'll take you along for the ride. So while we're getting set up now, I'll just uh, roll on those clips of me shooting that Spanish Mac and I'll see you back here. Cool, so set up coconut husk on the bottom. Yeah. So it's probably worth me saying, for those of you who don't know what a Lovo is, it's a traditional Fijian oven, basically. Um, so what they do is they get a fire going like this, and then put a heap of rocks on top and the idea is to have it just sort of slow burning and heating up those rocks so you want to be using like really hard timbers um, and heat up the rocks red hot white hot um, and then you get your food on and then leaves and stuff on top of that to seal all the heat in and then those hot rocks will cook your food that's going to burn hot man with all that hardwood yeah. <laughs> The uh, uh, first uh, step is ready now. So we just wait for that thing to wait for it to burn down. Yeah. So now we're getting ready for polisami. Yeah. So we've got Tukai bashing some scraped coconut there. And he's gonna squeeze that out and get the coconut cream. And Steve over here is getting some onions, some ginger, and just... Dolly. Onions, ginger, and garlic, right? Too strong to Kai. Mm. Okay, so we got some onion yeah. chopped up, some ginger, yeah. 
And now we have the bellow leaf. Uh -huh. Chop the little hard bit off. Yep. The guy's still going strong over here. Yeah. <laughs> strong man. Plenty coconut cream in there. Oh, that looks so good. My mouth starts to water every time I see this. Pelly's <laughs> just been down here and gotten some nice big dallow leaves. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Ready for the I'm um, put on top of the lovo, hey? Nice. It's an absolutely beautiful day to be sitting down here cooking lunch on the beach, hanging out with some friends. It doesn't get any better. Kids having a splash. Burning down. Going for a snorkel. It's going for a snorkel. Right there. Yeah. Check the can you check the mooring on the boat? Make sure it's all good. In Fiji we put tin meat, everything inside there. Yeah. Like tin tuna? Yeah. We Yep. Yeah, you put the onion in. You want me to put the onion in? Yeah. Fingers? <laughs> Fingers. How much? Oh my god. Uh, some more. Fingers more than that? I think it gives it extra soft. <laughs> yeah. Work of art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it in the local smoke. Oh, looks good, Steve. Yeah. So that's it. We just need the container just to rest it. Yeah. Yep. Rebecca can hold that one until the container comes. Hmm? Thank you very much. It's not very ladylike, Gracie. Look at your little face. It's, it's so not cute. very ladylike. Hey! Hello, Baba. So we got Jonathan on the dallow. Cleaning yeah. them up. We're not peeling them, we're just scraping them so that uh, they don't get too scorched or burnt, I guess, on the outside. Yeah. So we just scrape off the junk and then kind of leave this like secondary skin, I guess. Only for local. Otherwise it ends up charcoal. Right. Correct. Are you going to buy my like. Did you see me pick a hair kilo? Why? Why can I go to the house? Why? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the house.
double. <laughs> <laughs> Double delight. Watch and learn. I know. <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> the girls see you doing this, they want you to do their hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How'd your wives? Same, same thing. <laughs> Maybe next time we will uh, maybe we'll be doing this, eh? You reckon? <laughs> if I start now, I'll be ready by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the idea of that? To keep it all together? Yeah. And you pull that thing that will fall apart. apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just stay, you know? yeah. When you turn it or? When it's cooked. When it's cooked, the uh, yeah. thing will hold uh, Hold it together. That's a good master. So we've got uh, four chickens here, we've got a Spanish Mac there, and Pulsami in here. And Dalo here. So you get all the wood out, yeah. just down to the hot rocks. Burn, yep. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Found one with your foot. Okay, so we've got everything in the Lovo there. We've got all the leaves on top. Um, now that's gonna sit there for a little bit over an hour. Um, and then we'll pull it all apart and see how it's all baked in there. My mouth is seriously watering just watching the boys build that. It's, if you've ever had it before, you'll know the taste is so unique, but it's just amazing. You cannot replicate that taste anywhere else but in a Lovo with that smoky, fiery taste.
All right, time to open up and check it out. So it's basically been an hour and 15 minutes. Thank you very much, Takai. That was awesome, man. Awesome, you did such a good job. That tasted amazing. So, there's a heap of work that goes into a Lovo, right? Yes. A lot, like, hours from when you start collecting the firewood, Fire the rocks, uh, you know, prepping all the food. So, how often do, like, Fijians do that sort of thing? Uh, they do it on a funeral and when there's uh, like uh, plenty of people like yes funeral and uh, plenty like gatherings you know they make for parties and special occasion yeah they make global special occasion and yes. everyone loves it yes and everyone always wants leftovers oh, yeah always cook plenty so there's leftovers yes so um you do a lovo every week yes so you cook it on Friday? Uh, every Friday. Every Friday you cook it and then yes. take it to town? Take it to town, then sell all over town. All over sell, town. town. Yeah, and everyone loves it. Yes. So Takai was telling me before that people are ringing him now to to see when the Lovo is ready so that they, can, like, they can't wait for it. They can't wait to get it. So what, what do you usually cook each week? Um, every week we cook, make fish and palusami, chicken and uh, dalu and we got uh, salad there and chili lemon and balsami yeah wow and you put like 15 chickens in there 15 chickens and, and how long does like, that take it takes uh, one hour 15 minutes sometimes one and a half hour yeah wow to cook up wow like in that uh, 15 chicken that's uh, 60 serves you have to make 60 serves and sell it all over time yeah 60 servings. Yes. Awesome. Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Cheers, man. Thank Cheers. you so much for your work today, Thanks. honestly. Right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, seeing a bit of, uh, I guess, the Fijian culture, the Fijian way of cooking and Fijian lifestyle. Um, it's, it's an impressive thing, I've got to tell you. A Lovo is a super impressive thing. As I said before, the, the care and the love that goes into prepping the food um, before it goes into cook has to have something to do with how nice it tastes um, so if you enjoyed the video absolutely share it with your friends if you didn't like the video share it with your enemies and uh, I'll see you on another one real soon guys have a good day now it's time to go where the party's happening down on the beach bula bula. frog party Ha ha ha!